Hello, welcome to another tutorial video. What we're going to do now is look at question six, the argue and persuade question. Now, the indicative content is over here on the left, but as we know, that changes every year. So, looking at this, we can only try and pick out what is a common feature, or what are sorry the common features of this. So, we need to show that the topic is understood. As we get here, we need to be able to state our view on the topic clearly, which is mentioned there, and we need to be able to develop the argument somehow. So, we need to, like it's put here, as in um, employ the narrative and more for the moral or ethical arguments, support views and ideas, and here it's. Um, develop the argument perhaps now what's interesting is that this one here the one with the bold in it is from a later exam now from a later exam uh, specification so maybe just that they AQA does should develop this with the bold parts to make it slightly clearer for the examiner as well and a little more um, appropriate for their marking I guess so here they've highlighted even the word may so it, that shows us that we don't have to include all of this stuff here this could just be the kind of thing that's actually mentioned and every year this will be slightly slightly different worth having a look over but remember the essence of what we're trying to do is show that we understand pick a clear topic support it and then uh, develop it somehow and conclude the writing like just the same as you'd expect in any kind of essay for or against something so we'll look at the idea then I mean I know that's really basic but I've really done um, all the technical start of AP, APA before even though the advice is now gone from this um, there's only like like 30 seconds on this video about advice the rest of it's about argue and persuade especially the planning of the question development so yeah I'd look at that it, that's the name there if you want to just kind of bang it into the search engine on the channel and I'll put this description is sorry this link in the comment box here can you see it but what we'll do here is we'll go through uh, a really quick um, overview like what to keep in mind when you're actually doing it so what you're going to do when you're arguing for and against whatever you're doing is basically just bear this in mind you isolate your view build on it back it up acknowledge and neutralize the opposing view and then aim higher now this part here you can do I should actually put down here you do this, this is basically going to be your paragraph so you're going to do this three <clears throat> three or four times and that's that's basically the essence of your essay so same as in um, the last video in the describe one we basically just said you need to talk about what you need to talk about why and then details with this the base of it is you isolate your view you build it back it up acknowledge it and then go higher and all the, the skill is actually in doing this in in different ways so we we'll look at some exemplar material later um, but for now just to give you an idea what we're going to be doing say for example when we're building something is you know we're looking at it from different angles of how we actually support our view we back it up using perhaps you know uh, 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 testimonials or back it up using and that's why I remember to use a forest in this and that's on that video in detail so we might use testimonials we might use statistics you know etc etc you neutralize the opponent so you can say while some people say this um, you know we can just dismantle that argument because of this and then you know ultimately aim higher so I've just done like a like a minute's worth of planning on, on this just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about uh, so this is the kind of essay kind of structure ultimately you want to do so the question we have is your school or college is inviting entries for a rising competition the topic is dangerous sports activities and pastimes are selfish and often put others at risk and should be discouraged write your entry for or against this view so we know if we're against this view so remember again we just have to isolate our view build it back it up neutralize the opponent and then move higher so I'm against it I'm gonna make that clear and I'm against it for, for my first reason is because that we you know people have free choice and that you know we've got individual voices so I might use for this one I might use a quotation from someone who you know someone from the school council who said something about it and here I'm actually looking from the this is the opposing view so I'm saying while some people might say it's danger dangerous etc and what, what I, I really put the well, what about respect for people's choices etc um, so kind of just what I'm saying while I respect that what about this which is more important that a few people are going to be in danger or that we're not respecting you know everyone's opinion uh, and obviously in the idea of the terms of a democratic society that one should hold more weight then my second point is going to be again on the against so it's like I know people raise safety concerns as well but remember you know all these um, things uh, harnesses etc are tested you know massively uh, sorry um, <laughs> I should say so often to actually ensure high standards etc and um, even though there are a few casualties let's name you know what aren't 
you know what doesn't have casualties to it ultimately you know you can actually point to people who go jogging and die of heart attacks while they're jogging for example and then you know actually you can say you know be a bit more flippant so in this one you know we're appealing to a slightly higher denominator here we're appealing slightly lower this time we're being more sarcastic so just because you know some things people are going to have should we should we ban driving and not allow people to drive so again um, looking at it you know I've built my, my point I've isolated my point I'm building it using this second idea of safety I'm backing up by talking about the statistics for testing and how rigorous they are I'm acknowledging that there are ca casualties but then I'm neutralizing by saying that the ultimate the idea so what should we not drive and ban everyone from society and uh, being slightly hyperbolic in that one and obviously flippant um, third thing I'm actually going to say I'm going to say the, de the dangers are actually exaggerated you know that people actually put it in um, the media you know even though they focus on both sides you know they don't kind of show the years of training that go into pe before people that actually do any of this thing and and you might want to say then that you're going to champion education, for example, on, on any given sport uh, of, of what it's not you, sorry, but say that champion uh, education on these the danger of these things and how people are supposed to do it properly, etc., are you know championed every step of the way. And then you might want to throw in another anecdote or another report or reference an advert, etc., 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 something to go. Uh, and then you actually want to build just further and you say, well, look at the amazing skills that are actually kind of developed from this, and you say they're needed. You know, how are we going to develop a uh, sorry, like mountain rescue, and etc., etc. If we don't have people, you know, who can climb mountains really well and really fast, perhaps sometimes without, you know, the best harness in the world because they don't have time because lives are in the balance because someone's got a broken leg. You know, you can go into a really kind of descriptive, um, powerful scenario there, and you know, just kind of say, you know, that person needs to be helped, and if people have the free choice to practice these skills, then they will be helped. We can talk about the elite nature of it in terms of human, uh, human conditioning and human development, etc. And obviously, as I just mentioned, the, the helping of others and. And then the higher section here, I've just kind of like annexed this on to the end, but like respect here, you know, that's kind of moving into the, the theoretical aspects of it, the, the moral aspects of it. But here, you know, just we, if we want to talk about, you know, the testing of human limits that actually, you know, what drives us and inspires us to inspire others and to push ourselves and what it's all about to be being a, to be a human or to be a developed human being, etc. And then I might want to end on a quotation just to kind of sum all my points up. So there I've kind of got this, this base argument, etc. And if I wrote that really well, it would be quite good. It's quite very then it hits all the kind of points that we're looking for you know generally picking out of there and picking it out of here so just remember that's what you want to do isolate your view build it back it up acknowledge and neutralize the opposing one and then aim higher and just back it up with all things from a forest and again sorry to mention it again but if you want to know what's in a the forest then please watch this video here and it will have all the elements in there for you so actually that one was quite good um, good luck with your exams